Chapter 3 The Piano Pins and Strings Position The most frequent cause of string breakage is due to an error in identifying the string or the pin. You think you're working on the right string or pin, and you pull harder because you don't hear any difference. The string snaps. It is therefore necessary to explore strings and pins position in a piano. Logic dictates that for each string will correspond one pin. Visualize the position of pins and strings graphically. The three strings and pins of each note correspond to a vertical line. Visualize this vertical line. Every first string's pins will have the same position. Every second string's pins will have the same position. And also, every third string's pins will have the same position. Now let's find the position of all the first strings and pins for an upright piano. The first string, pin, marked in red, is situated at the top in an upright piano. Remember this graphic, and every time you tune a first string, locate it in the first row at the top of the piano. Now let's find the position of all the second strings and pins. The second string, pin, marked in blue, is located in the middle. Picture and remember the line formed by this graphic. And every time you tune a second string, find it in the middle row. Next, let's find the placement of all the third strings and pins in an upright piano. The third string, pin, marked in yellow, is located at the bottom row in an upright piano. Picture and remember this graphic, and every time you tune a third string, locate it in the third row, the bottom row. Let's take a look at the graphic again, so that you can visualize it and memorize it. Let's do the same exercise for the grand piano. As with the upright piano, the three strings, pins, of each note corresponds to a vertical line. Visualize this vertical line. Each of the first string's pins will have the same position. Each of the second string's pins will have the same position. And you guessed it, each of the third string's pins will have the same position. Now, let's identify the placement of all the first strings and pins in a grand piano. The first string pin, marked in red, is situated next to the soundboard in a grand piano. Picture and remember this graphic, and each time you tune a first string, locate it in the first row, the row farthest from you. Now let's find the placement of all the second strings and pins. The second string, pin, marked in blue, is situated in the middle. Picture and remember the line formed by this graphic, and every time you tune a second string, locate it in the middle row. Next. Let's find the placement of all the third strings and pins in a grand piano. The third string, pin, marked in yellow, is situated in the row closest to you and the keyboard. Picture and remember this graphic, and every time you tune a third string, go find it in the third row, the row close to the keyboard. Let's look again at the graphic, so that you can visualize it and memorize it. 